Hello! This short video discusses some selected phenomena associated with phonology and morphology. The practical is part of the unit Language and Linguistics. Here is your first problem. Consider these three sets. There's something strange with them and the question arises, can they be words of present-day English? Clearly, the first three items are all ungrammatical. They violate the phonological or the sound conventions of present-day English and thus the orthographical, the spelling ones too. There are no syllable initial sound clusters such as nb, kz and fs in present-day English. Frisch, Groffer and Plicky, by contrast, could all be items of the present-day English vocabulary, but they're not. Phonologically and orthographically, there's nothing wrong with them. Well, in the third set, we have night and night, spelled differently, but pronounced identically. They are homophones, that is, words with identical pronunciation, but different orthography. Lead and the second item, led, by contrast, are homographs. That is, they are words with identical orthography, but different pronunciation. Here's a morphological phenomenon. Look at these two sets of present-day English words and make up your minds what is going on here. Well, the pairs show and showed and go and goad show that the past tense rule verb plus ed has been overgeneralized, leading to the ungrammatical form goad. Actually, children come up with such forms at a stage when they consider the basic inflectional rules exceptionless. In the pairs unavailable and impossible, we can see that the prefix un or im respectively cannot be used the other way around. Inavailable and impossible are words that do not exist in present-day English.